Hi, I'm Chuck. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll take you through the top 25 Windows commands you need to know, whether you're working in tech or you're just an ordinary user. Before we dive right in, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share this video. Let's get started. I will click on the start button on the tax bar and click in this search bar. I will type CMD and right click on the command prompt and click run as administrator. I will type in this command and press enter. This command comes handy when you need to fix slowness on your computer by deleting all temp files to clear space. Next, you can change the color of this background and the text font by using color command followed by two hexadecimal characters. For example, color B6 gives you this, color F4 gives you this. By the way, you can use color space question mark to see the entire color code. You can see color 0 to color F. I'll press spacebar to get to the end. I like black background and green font, so I will type in color space 02 and press enter. When you use the color command, the first character that comes after it represents the background and the second character represents the text font. Next, we have a lot of gibberish on our screen. Let's clean up our screen using this clear screen command, CLS, and hit enter. Anytime you type CLS and press enter, your screen will be cleared. I will use this command throughout this video to clear my screen. Next. If your computer is slow or malfunctioning and you suspect a disk issue, you can use the check disk command to verify. I will hit enter. It can take dozens of seconds or even minutes to generate the output. Let's wait. You can see that the file system on our disk reported no problems. If it had reported file system issues, we can run this check disk command to fix any structural issue with the disk. Next. What if you want to find out the IP address of our computer? Let's find out using the ipconfig command and press enter. Here is the IP address, subnet mask and default gateway. This command does not provide a lot of details. To see more details, I will issue a modified version of our previous command, ipconfig forward slash all and press enter. This gives us a lot more details. You can see the DNS server IP, the DHCP server, which is the same in this case, and many more details. Next, if you experience any network issue that requires you to refresh your IP address, you can issue this command ipconfig forward slash release and press enter to let go your IP address on all interfaces. But I won't hit enter button here because this test computer is an Azure VM in the cloud and I'm connected to it via remote desktop application. If I hit enter, I will lose my remote desktop connection. You should use this command only when you have physical access to your computer or you can connect to the computer via a console like VirtualBox or ESSI console. Next, if you run the previous command, that is ipconfig forward slash release, you should follow it up with this command ipconfig forward slash renew to acquire a new IP address for your computer. I will hit enter. When you run this command, you may or may not get the same IP address as before. Meanwhile, you can always get help by typing in help or question mark and press enter to see more options. I will scroll up. If we want to see all the websites our computer has a cache record of, we can use display DNS option. I will type in this command and press enter. This can be a long list. You can delete this DNS cache on your computer by issuing this command ipconfig forward slash flush DNS and press enter. If I immediately display DNS again, you can see the DNS resolver cache is empty on this computer. That's how you flush DNS on your computer. Next. Let's say you want to hide this folder named Maverick. I will issue this command. Before I press enter, watch this explorer window on the left and see how this folder will disappear. I will go back to the command prompts and press enter. You see, the folder is gone. It's now hidden. 
keep in mind that the command was issued from the send directory where the folder is located. To unhide the folder, we use almost the same command. You just need to replace the plus signs with minus signs like this. Again, watch the explorer window on the left hand side and see how the folder will reappear. I will return to my command prompt window and press enter. You see the file is back, it's now unhidden. Next, to see the system spec, issue this command system info and press enter. If I scroll up, you will see the operating system's info, processor details, memory details, and many more. If we want to filter for a particular string, we can do so using the find string command. To filter for memory in our previous command, I will issue the command again and append find string space memory and press enter. You can see that only the rows with memory are displayed. You can choose to filter for any other string aside memory and you can use find string in any command. Keep in mind that the strings are case sensitive. Next, you can use three command to see the directories and subdirectories on your computer. I will press enter. You can see the directories or folders and the subdirectories and how they are linked to each other. If we want to copy the output of this command to our clipboard, we can do so using the clip option. I will type tree space pipe space clip and press enter. We want to paste the output on a notepad. So I will issue notepad command to bring up notepad. Let's move notepad window to the side. I will use Ctrl V to paste the output. Using the clip option is a cool way to copy output of a command to our clipboard, especially when the output is long. Next, to resolve domain name into IP address. For example, if you want to see the IP address behind youtube.com, you can issue the nslookup command and press enter. You can see that youtube.com resolves to this bunch of IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. This is the local DNS server that performed the name resolution. You may choose to use a different DNS server for the name resolution. For example, I will run the same command again, but this time, I will use Google DNS for the resolution. So, I will enter 8.8.8.8 .8 and press enter. Google DNS server resolved youtube.com to similar set of IP addresses. To see who is connecting to your computer or where your computer is connecting to, you can issue net start command and hit enter. The output shows the port numbers used for the connection. It also shows the connection states. Most of the connections are established. Over here, you will see my inbound remote desktop connection on port 3389. If we modify our last command and add dash "-o", at the end, the output will display the process ID for each connection. If any of the connections look suspicious to us, or we simply want to terminate a connection, we can issue this task scale command and include the process ID at the end. For example, let's terminate any connection that has this process ID, 5632. I will include 5632 at the end of the command and hit enter. You can see the connection is now terminated. To test if a destination device or website is available online, for example, youtube.com, you can simply do a ping. Let's ping youtube.com. The replies confirm it's online. By the way, we received only four replies. To make it a continuous ping, we will add dash T at the end and press enter. You can see that the ping runs continuously without stopping. To stop the ping, I will use Ctrl C. Next, to display a network path to a server, example, youtube.com, you can use tracesat command, tracesat, youtube.com. I will hit enter. Tracesat is Windows command for traceroute. It takes some time to go through all the hops because it's trying to resolve IP address to host name at each hop. To make the trace faster, we can use dash D option like this and press enter. There won't be any attempt to resolve IP to host name. Next, 
to display the route your computer will take to reach different destinations. You can use this command, route print, and press enter. If I scroll up, you can see that the default route has 10.0.0.1 as its gateway. We can add specific route to our computer and point to a different gateway. To do that, you can use route add command, route add. Let's point to 192.168.10.10. I will press enter. A use case for this will be a server that has two network interface cards and they want to point certain routes to go through the second network interface card. If I do route print again, you can see that a route for this network has been added and it's pointing to a different gateway, 192.168.10.10. To remove the specific route, you can use route delete command and specify the network you want to delete its route. I will hit enter. If I do route print again, you will see that the route for 172 address is gone. Route print and I will hit enter. I will scroll up. You can see that the route is gone. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it informative. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and click the like button. Also press the bell icon to never miss any of my new videos. If you have any questions or comments, please enter them in the comment section below.